Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Eric Spotswood, Regional Manager of Prosperity Home Mortgage. Thanksgiving was just last week, and I know a lot of us, me included, ate a lot of food. And it's time to hopefully lose a little bit of weight. So when I think about weight in regards to loans, I'm more thinking about waiting periods. So what I want to talk about is what are a couple of important waiting periods that you need to know about in the loan process? Well, one of the first things is when you first apply for a loan, sometimes we find that people don't get an actual loan estimate on hand. If you don't have a loan estimate on hand, you do want to talk to your lender because within a couple days, really it's three days of applying for that loan, you should get a copy of a loan estimate or an estimate of the amount of costs and the rate and terms that they're offering to you in the mail, or they can send it to you electronically. The big waiting periods that more trip people up are what are the waiting periods that you have to wait on before you can close your home and get into your home? One of the big ones is when are you getting your appraisal back? Well, the market's a little slower right now, so this hasn't become as big of an issue as it was before, but you have to have your appraisal on hand delivered to you before three days, and that's three business days of the closing. Now, there is a form that you can sign to waive that waiting period, but you also have to have signed that form at least three days in advance. So you wanna make sure that if you know that it's gonna be close to the finish line that you get that appraisal, that you sign it in advance that you're waiving that three-day waiting period or understand that when you get a copy of the appraisal, you have to wait three business days before you close. Important part, waiving the appraisal waiting period time does not mean you're waiving the right to get a copy of your appraisal, it just means you're waiving the three-day waiting period. You still get a copy. Another three-day waiting period is you have to have your closing disclosure or the final estimate of fees at least three days prior to closing if it's signed. Now, if you get it at least seven days prior to closing, then you don't have to sign it. But if you have it anywhere within seven days, once you sign it, you have a mandatory three-day waiting period before you can close. So I know that's a lot of different numbers. As always, the important thing is talk to your trusted mortgage advisor to make sure you're in a good place. But understand that there are a couple mandatory waiting periods that you have to do to make sure that you can get your loan to the finish line and some early estimates up front so you can know exactly what you're signing up for. Hope everybody had a fantastic Thanksgiving. Take care. Bye.